my friends. The king of the kingdom, the king of the world, the one who has all authority on heaven and earth is Jesus. And mister, you got a license to do this? Pardon? You got a license to do this? Someone asked me, do I have a license to do this? Jesus. Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Jesus said, I have authority in heaven and earth. So what is my authority? The authority of Almighty God. This is my passport. This is my documentation. And I'm not afraid of you. You need to be afraid of God. Because the Bible says hell is on its way. I can't be saying my religion. I can't be... Pardon, pardon me? Well, what, 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 can I, what can I do? You're talking about homeless and bisexual and gay people. I did talk about homeless people. I talked about, I talked about heterosexuals. I talked about homosexuals. I talked about everything. I talked about war. Oh, what, what's wrong with your cousin? He's got a boyfriend. He's gay. I don't agree with him. I don't need to. I'm bisexual, yeah? Sorry? Why are you doing it in the middle of town in front of boys that are gay and girls? Pardon me? Why are you doing it in front of town? Why am I preaching the word of God and exercising my freedom of speech? Maybe, maybe you shouldn't exercise your freedom of speech in front of me because now I'm being offended by you. It's wrong to preach my religion on a free in a free country. Is it wrong? No, not in front of them. No. So, so they own the block. So are homeless people own the block. No, I'm sorry. Listen. No, I'm not going to sit down. Oh, maybe you can. But listen. Everybody is entitled with freedoms, and everybody is deserving of respect and dignity. I challenge you by the law. I challenge you by the word. We have dignity and respect. Every single person has a right to believe and preach what they want to preach. Am I right? Forgive. This is Britain. And as far as I know, Britain is under the Commonwealth Society where everybody has freedom of speech, freedom of rights, and I preach my religion and I preach my faith. And I'm proud of my faith. You can be proud of what you want to be proud of, and I will be proud of Jesus. I will be proud of my faith, and you can be proud of whatever. Sure. What can I, what can I say? Offer love to everybody. Take that out of my face, please. <laughs> <laughs> Get this on camera, please. Go ahead. Get the camera. I'm not comfortable with some of the things you've said. Okay? What did I say? You've probably seen me. I've been stood there for a while. Okay? I understand, okay? I understand. Yes, you are allowed to okay, film. Thank you. That you are expressing your views. Yep. Okay. I understand that a lot of what you're quoting is straight from the Bible. Straight from the Bible. Okay. And I appreciate that. Okay. That is your honest held belief. Okay. But I cannot allow you, okay, to project this in the street at this level when you can see how irate people are becoming. What, what's the law that I can't preach my faith? Public order. Okay. Public order that I can't. I can't. If you're causing preach someone, if you're causing the word of God, if you're causing someone harassment, alarm, and distress, who's who's harassing anybody? Who's, okay. So I've had two people come up to me and complain already. What did they say? Okay. They've said that the scripture that you've quoted or the words that you've said in relation to homosexuality sure. and homelessness has offended them. Can I okay. ask you something? Yes. Is, is this a banned book? In no, English? it's not a banned book at all. So am I allowed to read from the Bible? Are you allowed to read from the Bible? Yes, you can okay. read from the Bible. But so I'm going to read. People, okay. So, so if, if I read the Bible and that offends somebody, people. then so their rights trump mine. If you're offending them, yes. So by reading okay. the is the Bible an offense? No, I haven't told you the Bible. Okay, so that. so if I read the Bible and someone's offended by my projection of my faith, which I'm entitled to project. Yep. So you're saying I'm wrong for projecting what the Bible says. I what? What did I do that caused them alarm? You're speaking about homosexuality. I read. I read. I am talking to you about the Bible. So as far as I know, 
I'm quoting a Bible, preaching my faith, and I'm being harassed by the police now for what, what did I, I didn't do anything illegal. Whilst you're speaking to the camera about being harassed by the police, you're not being harassed by the police. So what, what's we've, going on? we've just had numerous calls through to our so, control room, so, which hence why sure. we're here. So you, you need to verify the facts. Yes. Yeah. So you've been sitting here, everything's on live camera right now. It's publicly all over the world. Well, I've right just, now. just turned up here. I haven't been yeah. sitting here. So you, you weren't in the conversation. So I quoted from the scripture, which is not illegal. Mm -hmm. I preach my views, which is not illegal. Mm -hmm. I have freedom of speech. I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. So I'm creating public disorder for preaching the Bible, my faith, using freedom of speech. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's the calls that we've been getting. Yeah, so the calls, so basically anybody can lie about somebody and say they're bothering me and therefore I have to be shut down because someone produces well, that. No, but we need to be seen to look into it. Yeah, at the moment we're not, we're not shutting you down or anything. It's just that we've got so many numerous calls sure. through that we had to come and speak to I, I think you're getting calls because people don't, they're, they're actually Christ Christophobic. Yeah, they're actually discriminatory bigots that are, that are um, uh, producing religious discrimination. So actually I'm producing a call right now towards everybody that complained against me and saying that they're, they're causing me harassment. Okay, okay, and they're they're producing religious discrimination. So I'm going to ask you to look into that, please. Okay. And um, uh, these uh, actually those homeless guys were actually coming up to me, telling me to shut up, uh, saying that what I'm saying is is not is foul words, not good. That's called religious discrimination and harassment. Yeah, I need to speak to people. So if you guys are willing to to look into that, that would be I just don't want you to do anything else at the moment because I've got somebody else that's coming down to speak to you. Okay, so so, uh, so my my rights are being infringed. No, I, I, I'm on a time clock. I don't have yeah, well, I don't have all the time in the yeah, well, world. I, as far as I know, that I didn't do anything illegal. I'm just asking you to hold on just for a couple of minutes. If that's well, okay. maybe you guys can. No, I actually want to preach because I actually believe that people need to hear the gospel. Well, you can. And if I didn't do anything illegal. No, you haven't if, done anything. Right. And if I'm not under arrest. Oh, it's alright. The other people are right. here. I want to speak to okay, you anyway. Sure. So just. Give us so a while second. I wait, yeah. I'm, I'm going to preach the word. So I'm going to continue to preach the word. Amen. I'm going to uh, continue to preach the word until everything's verified. Because I did nothing illegal. Amen. I preach the word of God. I preach the gospel. I preach my views. I quoted from scripture, and everything is live on camera for the world to see. So my friends, I'm going to say it again. Jesus said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God is at hand. What does that mean? It means that Jesus, the king of the entire world, has came on the earth, came to be a savior. And the reason why is because we're living in sin. Sin brings shame, internal anger, and negativity. Sin is destructive. Sin is violating the law of God. Sin is violating the conscience. Sin is doing things that are contrary to faith. And my friends, I'm here to tell you today that I am a born-again Christian and I'm proud because Jesus became the Lord of my life and saved me from a rotten life. I was living in fornication, drunkenness, drug abuse, doing all the things that we see in society today. Sleeping around. I lived like that. I lived in a depraved mind. I lived in a heart that was deluded. I've been there, I've done that. And you know what? Sometimes what happens in life is that we think that's the right way to live. But I'm here to tell you today that sin brings forth death, but God's gift of, of life is granted to you. Anybody that lives in sin will find themselves in depraved and destructive behaviors and patterns that will destroy your society. People, it's funny. It's funny that police are coming because of a preacher of righteousness. This is how far our nation has gone. Britain, wake up! Wake up! They would call police on a preacher that's telling people to repent and live right. But then everybody's living wrong. Everybody's living in sin. But nobody calls the police. Because we're living in the last days. We are living in the last days where the Bible says Satan, the prince of the world, is dominating and causing people to go to hell. And when preachers come and say, repent, we are the bad guys. The Bible says, actually, Jesus said, one day they're going to think that killing Christians is doing God a favor. And guess what? Britain claims to stand on the word of God. The queen claims to be the 
to, to be the leader of England, don't we all say, God save the Queen? The Queen swears on the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible. I preach the Holy Bible. And I'm the guy that's in the wrong? <laughs> this is called hypocrisy. This is called a delusion. This is called Britain has gone under hill because of sin. And God is calling you back to Him. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the very foundation of Britain. Where the great revivals have come. Charles Wesley has come from this land. Preached the word. John Wesley has preached all over the world. Came from England. Told people that Jesus saves. The King James Version of the Bible came from England. If you want to be in, in the bar as a lawyer, as an attorney. In England, you know what? You need to swear upon the Bible. You need to swear upon the Bible. But now preaching the Bible is a crime. Now preaching the Bible is a taboo. Now preaching the Bible is something wrong. Now preaching the Bible makes people afraid. But I'm here to tell you, you should be afraid of the hellfire because hellfire is coming. Judgment day is coming.